Hey guys, welcome back to the arena. I have something a little bit different for you today. Um, I got a request here from one of my viewers to look at uh, Mono Red Aggro as it has just been tearing up on the ladder. And so I wanted to put together a video here for a standard event with Mono Red Aggro with the new set. Um, so if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate you. And if you do end up liking my content, please consider subscribing and maybe sharing it with a friend of yours. For my returning viewers, thank you guys so much for coming back and supporting my channel. It really does mean the world to me. Um, there will be a link for the deck list in the description, both on moxfield.com and on untapped.gg. And then I will also include a playlist in the description for my um, Road to Rank 1 journey with my Mono White Humans deck and my collab drafts with Ace MTG. So, again, I just want to thank you guys for being here, and I want to give a shout out to my first member, Kibo. Thank you so much again for considering and becoming a member of the channel where you get early access to my videos. It really does help support the channel, so thank you so much. And if you are considering becoming a member, it is a really great way to help support me and my content creation. So thanks so much again. If you would like to become a member and help support my channel, you can do so. Just click on the join button right next to where it says subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Um, or if you would like to just support my channel just on a one-time basis, you can also click the super thanks button uh, here right on the, uh, also right under the banner here for the video. So these are both great ways to support the channel. I really appreciate you guys and I couldn't do this without you. So thank you guys so much again for your consideration. All right, let's get into some games. Okay, let's jump in. So, mono red aggro. <laughs> I've seen a lot of this on the ladder here in the last couple days, and the new card that everybody is talking about is Slick Shot Show Off. This card is a complete and total beating. Um, <laughs> it's basically like Monastery Swift Spear on steroids. Um, so it fits right into the deck now that we've got Fugitive Codebreaker, Slickshot Showoff, and Monastery Swift Spear. We can really build a kind of spell-centric deck. And so what I did is I took my Mono Red Aggro deck that I'd been running uh, last month on Ladder and kind of tweaked it a bit to accommodate the new card. So one of the main things that it used against other aggro decks was Invasion of Tarkir. And this is such a great card because it can help you deal with other aggro decks really well, or just go face against opponents who are more controlling. Um, and it really plays well with the new card Slick Shot Show Off, because now with this deck, the creatures we're running, we have Kumano Faces Kakazan, full play set, same as Swift Spear, uh, Fugitive Codebreaker as well, another prowess creature, and the Slick Shot. And then in addition, we run one copy of Godric. Um, because you got to have them if you've got the Invasion of Tark here, and it's just a great value card here. And then two copies of Shivan Devastator, just to help juice these invasions to make them do a little bit more damage and give us another haste beater. So between all of our creatures, we have functionally um, 19 creatures in the deck. You can kind of consider Urbrask's Forge as another creature there, so about 20 creatures, which is really what you want for a deck like this where you're trying to maximize spells and then for spells that trigger the Slick Shot Show Off and the other prowess creatures, we have um, three copies of End the Festivities. This is kind of a nod to dealing with Boros Convoke as it is very prevalent still. Um, Kubano Faces Kakazan, which is perfect because it's both a creature and a spell. Four copies of Monstrous Rage, which is still just as broken as it was on day one when it was released in <laughs> the last set. Um, and then Four copies of Play With Fire, which is just really great going to face, dealing with creatures. Um, also four copies of Lightning Strike, helping you give extra reach to the deck. Four copies of Invasion of Tarkir, which can become a creature as well. And then Urabrask's Forge also triggers it. So we've got a ton of different options to help support the Slick Shot show off. For the mana base, we have 21 lands. And I think you need to have 18 sources of a color um, which is why we've got three Mishra's Foundries for the extra kind of float lands, and then four copies of Soken Zen. Now, kind of what got me into this is one of my viewers told me, hey, have you considered running like four copies of Iganjo in your white deck? And I thought, you know, I've never really considered even trying that. 
Since I've done that, I've never looked back. It is absolutely amazing. And yeah, I basically would never run less than four copies of this now because since these decks run on such low land counts, having this as a land when you need it or essentially another threat when you need it is just perfect. And even lands or even decks are, um, excuse me, even hands where you have two or even three copies of this, as long as you're able to have two kind of normal lands, maybe one of these and something else, then you can use that third one to float three mana for the one turn that you need it to play, you know, whether it's Forge or Godric, and then just have two mana, because the deck can operate on two mana very easily. All right, so all of that said, let's go ahead and jump into a standard event. But yeah, really excited for the new set. Um, this has been a very tough deck to face on the ladder because it kills so incredibly quickly. And so I'm really excited to see how it does here in this standard event. I hope you guys are having a great day. Also, if you haven't seen my last video, um, check out my channel. Um, I did its really awesome collab draft with AceMTG, who is just an amazing content creator in his own right. And would definitely check out his channel as well. Um, but we've got a three-part series there for a um, collab draft. So check that out if you're interested. Yeah, this hand looks amazing. Let's keep it. So lead out with Kumano faces Kakazan. You basically always run this out on one if you have it. There's maybe like tiny corner case scenarios where you would run something else first. But if you don't want to think, just run this out first. All right, let's get our code breaker going. Looks like we are up against Selesnia. Although maybe this is like a new mono green deck. Could be anything, I guess. Looks just like a bad draw from Celestia. Okay, and Invasion of Tarkir is perfect here. What a beating. No reason to reveal our Shivan Devastator here since two damage will do the trick. And this is about to get very, very one-sided. If they don't deal with that this turn, it is over. Especially with the Shivan Devastator coming in hot. Okay, and this should be lethal, right? This is going to be 4, 8, 12, 15. Yeah, they're dead. Feels good.
we'll see if we get a chance to play with a new card here. Oh, it looks like we've got it, so very excited. But yeah, there was, I think, a game that I went up against an opponent on ladder, and they had the Slick Shot show off, and they did something like 10 damage in a single turn with just that creature. So it's pretty nuts. Also, the fact that you can plot it if you're potentially running into like counter magic or want to set up for a future turn where you don't want to expose it to removal is really powerful. Okay, we want to play with fire in response just to make sure that they can't go for a knight errant here. All right, now let's... I think we just want to go invasion of Tarkir here and just start picking off their creatures. This way, if they're stuck on land, they won't be able to cast Night Errant. Yeah, just keeping them off Night Errant is super important. Now we can do Show Off plus Kumano um, and start working on the invasion. Yeah, there's the Knight Errant that we knew they had. And they realize they're not going to have time for it. Okay, so no recruiter feels pretty good. And now we can ensure that we get invasion going. So I think we just double send an invasion here to ensure we flip. Um, show off. I think we, oh god, did we hold it? I think we hold the show off back because the damage might matter. Although I guess we'll have the 4-4, four, four, so yeah, maybe we should have pushed for one there. But I'm just thinking if they try to all in to get us down into range, having the extra blocker is kind of nice. Definitely not trading. Okay, so now... I guess we can all in at this point. Um, let's see. Let's, we can also hold back Sokens in in case they have like Imidane's next turn. So we use Thunder Maw to take out their Warden. Uh, we could also. 
put the damage on their other warden to try to push through. But I think it's enough to maybe just use Defiant Thunder Maw to take out their secondary warden here. And then push in with like Slick Shot and Defiant Thunder Maw. We hit them down for five. Guess if we throw everything at them, like, do we die if they have Imidanes next turn? Because, like, they'll have. They need land plus Imidanes. That'd be 3, 8, 11, 14, 17, 20. We can block two of it. So, actually, we can survive. Um, I think we. Yeah, I guess we can. We could push here for an extra two points. I don't know if we need to. I think maybe we hold for a spell. Okay, war leader's call. is a good one. All right, so can we attack back for lethal? So if we take three, five, seven, nine, and block one token on the knight, the next turn we can go six, eight, 10, 11, 12. 14. Yeah, that's lethal. That will do it. And we've even got an extra point here. Nice. Yeah, so far the slick shot hasn't done a whole lot, but it's uh, it's a really great integral piece of the deck, I think. Hopefully, we'll get a game to show it in action. All right, two and zero oh, so far. Yeah, this uh, this list seems pretty great. So I'm curious if you guys would like to see uh, some more drafts. I definitely am super excited about this drafting format. It looks so much fun. Um, had a great time drafting with Ace MTG, but yeah, we just love to do some more. And uh, yeah, it's opening hand looks great. Double Kamano is always nice. Um, so this is interesting. We could Kumano here, but I think like we, we want to go Invasion on two. So I think this is actually a good time to play with Fire and then just Invasion whatever they play next turn. Okay, I don't love giving them a card here, um, but I think flipping Invasion is one of the ways you beat Mono Red. So we could go like double Kumano and then set up for a big Devastator next turn, which would be great. Um, we could even go, actually, I suppose we could go double Kumano and the next turn Invasion plus Devastator for zero, having it be a 2-2. Two -two. Um... Is that good enough? I kind of want an extra mana to immediately flip the invasion. I think I'm just going to do the invasion this turn. There's like too much going on. And I think I want to play Mountain here just because we've got all these 
uh, red sources. So even though we're giving them a card, I still think just getting rid of some of their pressure is still good. Okay, that's a nice follow-up. So now we can go Kumano plus Invasion, clean up their Phoenix Chick, and then set up for the next turn. I don't think they can pump here, but I guess there's like an outside chance if they have some sort of weird card I don't know about. So I'm just gonna play around it by revealing the Devastator. So now they know the Devastator's coming, but yeah, I'm just, who knows, maybe they have some one mana, plus one plus one or something like that. Okay. And I feel like we can Devastator for zero here and Lightning Strike. We could also just Devastator for one and then cast Monstrous Rage, which is probably right. Then we can get a blocker for Feldon. I think we have to block with it, but I think that's fine because we've got another invasion here. Yeah, I think we want to flip it. Let's see. Let's tap. Make sure we tap this right. They are going to get to look for some cards here, but I think this is probably the best sequence we can do. And we have to respect it since they can just lightning strike us down. Okay, so they're hoping to do Adversary, I guess, next turn. Now we can go Show Off plus Kumano to flip the other Invasion. And then I think we have to hold back our Kumano so we can block their Adversary in case they draw something else. stabilize here it should definitely be lights out because we'd be pushing 4 8 11 13 14 17 okay so now we just let the feldon go through don't give them any more draw because we should be able to kill them this turn All right, and then we just uh, lightning strike here, so that's three, six, 10, 12, 17, nine. yeah, okay, that's enough. Got 
got there. Whew, yeah, the, the double monstrous rage they had, though, definitely <laughs> made it pretty dicey. But I think just consistent denial of all their resources um, eventually got there <laughs> with the dragons once we flipped them. Yeah, this deck is awesome, though. It's, uh, you can already see why it's just crushing on ladder. 3-0 and oh so far. Opening hand looks great. We've got Swift Spear into Invasion, which is always fun. Okay, this is great. This is a nice, easy invasion set up to take over the game with the dragons again. And even if they have Gleeful Demolition, we have cleanup there for our, our next turn with the, uh, and the festivities. This also prevents them from going into Knight Errant this turn. Okay, so no demolition. They would have demolitioned if they had it. And this is really nice. Now we can go Swift Spear into Monstrous Rage to flip. I guess technically we could have put one of these at face because we make it into a five. Uh, I suppose we need both to in order to get through. And now they're just completely dead, I think. If they have Gleeful, they, they're, they're probably taking it uh, right off the top here because they didn't have it last turn. They would have cast it. So they still can't go for Knight Errant. And then we'll just use Defiant Thundermaw to keep them off of enough creatures to go for Knight Errant. Yeah, and if they're sacking clues, it's pretty much over. Oh my god. <laughs> We've got Devastator. Oh, what a beating. I was going to say, let's go for, like, Monstrous Rage and Kumano faces Kakazan, but I think this is just better. I mean, the real answer is it doesn't matter. It's so over, it's not even funny. But yeah, just keeping them off like any possible chance of going into Knight Errant. Now I suppose if they drew Gleeful, they could get Knight Errant, but then we just kill them. Because, yeah, we're already pushing nine in the air. They block, I guess, the big one, take ten, plus we have spells. K 
case is definitely not going to do it. All right, let's just have a little bit of fun. They are super dead. Man, this deck has been great. Just, uh, yeah. <laughs> Opening hand looks good. Um, could use a couple more creatures maybe, but um, we at least have Kamano faces Kakazan, and we won't necessarily get the counter on it, um, or on a creature on two, because we might go invasion, but I think that's still fine. Okay, maybe we should, uh, yeah, take a turn off here and just go for Slick Shot Show Off. Um, losing out on the counter doesn't feel great. I mean, we could use Invasion right here and take out their Initiate, but I think I'm happy just getting Show Off going. Now we get to take out the Thalia, so that feels pretty good. And yeah, it's gonna be without they're gonna. They're, I guess they're gonna need like brutal Cathar here to try to come back, but even then, we just feel like we're in such a commanding position here. Okay, did we just kill them here? So Swift Spear plus Invasion plus Monstrous Rage. This is two, four, seven, eight, 10, 12, 14, 60. Yeah, they're just dead. That works. This deck is ridiculous. <laughs> oh. Five and oh. Yeah, like the slick shot show off with the benefit of invasion is just disgusting. It's just gross. And it's awesome. <laughs> 
Uh, opening hand looks great. Could go Kumano here. Um, Kumano's fine. I think shutting down their play, their uh, Swift Spirit play with fire is decent though. Hmm. I guess if we go Kumano, then like next turn we can go Codebreaker, and then turn three have Godric come out at the same time as the Kumano faces Kakazan. That's pretty good. We're on the the back foot a little bit. So I'm not really sure if we slow them down or if we try to race. So like if we slow them down, then like next turn we go Codebreaker. And then I guess like turn three we could go Godric. Eh, I think Kumano is a little better. It's hard to turn down just killing their Swift Spear out of hand. But, um, may and maybe this is wrong. I think now we have to kill it with uh, Lightning Strike, unfortunately. They're definitely gonna get us pretty low here. Um, so we just have to, I guess, do as, do as much as we can as quickly as possible to try not die to top decks. But yeah, we can still go Codebreaker into Play With Fire and that feels pretty good. Question is, do we get in with both? Less likely to die to top decks if we don't, but I feel like we just have to push. So like we swing for five. Next turn, if they do something, I guess like the turn after that, we can go like, if we draw land, if we don't draw land, we go rage plus play with fire. That's five, seven, nine, 11. A little bit short. Yeah, I guess. I guess just because they have one more card, I'm just going to hit for three here. Really happy we did. Um, could go Godric here. They've got one more card. Like if they have play with fire. I guess we could do like Kumano. We could just like play all three of our spells. And even if they have play with fire, like they won't be able to like get us in response. Because this brings it up to a two. And then, like, Rage brings it to three, and if they try to kill it, we can play with Fire in response. So I think that's the move. Okay, I guess they don't have it. So now, if we play with Fire, we hit for ten, they drop to five. Otherwise, we just hit for seven. We won't have the mana next turn, so I think we just push it now. Because then we, they drop to five. Then next turn, we've got three, five, and then plus Godric as a four. I guess if they're holding Lightning Strike, 
Let's see, they drop to eight. Next turn we swing for five, nine. Yeah, I guess we could potentially hold up play with fire here to be safe. I think now we just push play with fire. Have the lightning strike that makes sense so I think holding that play with fire was was definitely right and I don't think they can do five just in one turn so I think we just got them Good game for sure. Okay, six and oh, final boss. All right, here we go. Yeah, opening hand looks sweet. Again, no creature to go with our Kumano faces Kakazan, but I'm totally fine with that. against Esper. Could be Esper control, could be Esper mid-range. I guess we can just invasion here. Um, play with fire is decent to try to like set up. But I guess this like at least opens the door for the possibility of us flipping this. I don't know that we want to flip this against Esper, especially if it's Esper Control. Because, yeah, I feel like we waste a lot of resources trying to flip it and then they just use removal on our guys, and that's kind of terrible. I think we just go face. And then here, I think we just wait and see what they do. I suppose we could also play with fire. Um, since we probably want to do that anyways. Yeah, I think I'm just going to play with fire face. If they want to use removal, it's fine. Just to like not miss damage. Um, yeah, we don't want another mountain. We want more action. 
Definitely appears to be Esper Control. Okay. I don't feel great about going for Monstrous Rage here. I think we just Lightning Strike. Again, just not. To, I suppose we could also wait too. Just wait and see what they do. The lightning strike is decent. I think I'm actually well. Hmm. I think I'm gonna play it slow and see what they do. strike here I feel like they're trying to hold up I don't even know um, yeah I think we just wait bide our time Still's flanker, okay. We could lightning strike here, but again, I don't really think, I think we just wanna wait. Let's start with end the festivities. Okay. Now they're out of counters, which is great. Because now we can make our, our guy a 3-4. I think I almost want to... Nah, I suppose let's just get the Kumano going. Better not to miss damage. Yeah, and we kind of knew that was coming. They certainly could have another counter or other forms of removal. I think we just want to try to go for Devastator for two. Their hand is still pretty full here, so I don't think I want to try to get Rage going yet. We've got to find the right moment for it. If we can get Sokenzin going, that'll be pretty nice against their Kutsu's flankers.
Could definitely present lethal here. Um, let's go for it. Okay, they're definitely going to use removal. I think after they use the first removal, we'll monstrous rage whatever they don't kill. Outrageous robbery. Okay, so they're trying to get play with fire, I guess. And it's decent chance. If they miss... Three, five, seven, ten. We have exact lethal. God, do we just go for it? Yeah, I guess we put it on Devastator because they can't kill it with. Oh, they were probably hoping to hit Witch Doctor Frenzy. That's funny. Got them. Nice. We did it, guys. Clean sweep. 7-0. and <sighs> Yeah, I think it's safe to say that this deck is a banger. And there are the sweet prizes. All right, guys. Uh, yeah, so if you enjoyed the video, again, consider subscribing if you like my content. And we will see you guys in the next one.